there was a video that came out when yeah. he was trying to speak and under Ben Abao and he did a video. Nos does stress Hala Madrid. So it was the, the same, same thing, thing Cristiano Ronaldo. also did. It was amazing. It was think, nice. Yeah, yeah. heritage, right? Yeah, brilliant, brilliant, yeah. brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. Well, 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 welcome to this channel, Sports Guys. And we have an interesting one we are going to be discussing here. Kylian Mbappe. After the ups and downs with regards to joining Real Madrid, has finally become a Real Madrid player. And what a way, the unveiling, 80,000 spectators at the stadium. Some are even comparing him to when Cristiano Ronaldo was. Yeah, that, that was the same unveiling, number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the stadium. Yeah. 80,000. They, they unveiled Cristiano Ronaldo as well. Yeah. Such a fantastic guy. He, he's, uh, he has been one of the best players in the world uh, for the past three yeah, years. Yeah, of course. Yes, of course. And yeah. As compared to, yeah, the likes of Haaland and, yeah. Jude Bellingham, mm. yeah. but Mbappe is one addition that Real Madrid have been yearning for for, for, very, a, long for a very long yeah. time. Yeah. You know, it, yeah. it, it, it has been coming, and finally, it was done over the week. I think Mbappe himself is really excited about, about this deal. Of course, what has been his dream? Sure, sure, it has been his dream yeah, to join yeah. Real Madrid for several decades. He has yeah. been dreaming of playing for the. Uh, Los Blanco side Real Madrid, and, Real Madrid. and what do you, what do you, what do you make of these Real Madrid setup now? Now they have Vinicius, they have Mbappe, <laughs> Mbappe, they have Jude Bellingham. Yeah, in the, go, what do you make of Charlie, it? I think they are gradually forming the uh, the Galacticos, right? I think this is the, these are the Galacticos of our time <laughs> because they yeah. have a lot Charlie, of talent. Lot of talent. We have Kamavinga in the midfield, and Modric has not even signed a one-year contract extension with Real Madrid. Like you still have Modric in the setup. You have Kamavinga. You have Tramani. You have the likes of. Jude Billiam and like a lot, a lot of play, a lot of good players in the setup. It's like it's the Galacticos <laughs> of the but 21st it's century. It's about how the coach tried to blend these players because oh, come, come certain on. players who have to sit Carlo on the bench. has been blending Cer the players for a long certain time. Certain players who have to sit on the bench to yeah. suit certain players. And you know, Mbappe coming in means that either Rodrigo or someone have to sacrifice. So yeah. there's a whole lot that needs to be done. I think that Carlo Ancelotti. Is a is a very experienced manager yeah, and course. he can deal with this. And yeah, I don't think Mbappe coming will be a problem at all for Real Madrid. But Mbappe hasn't been a great vein of form for the past. Even in the Euros, I didn't see him score a lot of goals. Mm. So how do you think his starts will be? To oh yeah, he will perform well. I think it, it it depends. It's it's time, right? When we give him time, Mbappe is one of the uh, best players we have ever I've, I've, I've ever seen, right? And playing alongside with this kind of uh, players around him, Jude Bellingham. Luka Modric and Vinicius around him and Rodrigo around him. I think you, you shouldn't you shouldn't doubt him when he, he gets the chance to play for Real Madrid. Look, when see the La Liga players and the Liga La Liga teams, please. Charlie, Charlie. The team now Real Madrid have there. And, and with Hendrick, with Hendrick even coming. Do, no, Hendrick yeah, 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 see, the tennis hmm. Champions League is the ultimate goal now. For Mbappe mm. because he hasn't won the Champions, Champions League. League. He has mm. won the World Cup with France. He has won the League One. The Champions League is his target now. And mm. I think next season will be a crucial one. For, for him, right? Yeah, because the Champions League, the format has even changed. So it's going to be a tough season and he needs to focus on the Champions League. All right. right. But one, one, one person I'm really, really happy for is Florentino Perez. You know, he has been wanting to sign Mbappe for since 2021. And now he's getting him on a free deal, like a free no, deal. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, 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 the thing is, I see Real Madrid, then they all yeah. around that club. Eh? Mm -hmm. It's different too. When they want to sign a player, they get whatever they want. To. Mm -hmm. Like they are, they, they are that team. They, they are they are the, 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 the dream team. They are the best football club in the world. They have everything. What do you, what see if they want any player today? They'll get it because I'm even hearing they want to sign Trent Alexander Arnold. Arnold yeah. yeah, so. Real Madrid are that side, mm -hmm. they are that team, and whatever they want, they get it. And I think this guy is going to live up to the expectation. expectation yeah, Mbappe is very course. good, of course. And playing with the likes uh, of Jude Bellingham, yeah, is going cool. to even ease his style of play. Everything is going to be perfect because I just miss the fact that he's not going. I, I just maybe he's not going to play with the likes of Cruz. That will give him those tread like passes like oh but, 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 because, but, but because, still you because, have because the likes of Kamavinga and Tramini in no, there but you see, and, and, and I, I believe I believe those players have learned from Tony Cruz because 
Yeah, yeah, he has, with, yeah, Valverde, Valverde, Valverde is the guy that can replace Tony Cruz very well, Federico Valverde. Mm. But you know, you it's a, certain players are special, yeah. So I, I just wish Mbappe were the best. And <laughs> but the, the fact is that when these players step up, yeah, we want to see how because now we will not be having Messi and Ronaldo again. Mm. Yeah, no, I think now nah, it's a four four horse race. So yes, you know we having if, Messi. You know we having. If, 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 but uh, Re- sorry, Real Madrid alone have three players who are Ballon d'Or potentials. Yeah. Like this is amazing. Madrid, dear yeah, Charlie, Obi 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 Becker say it's a, 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 it's the team for God. It's like Nyankopon team. Nyankopon team are why we are saying Real Madrid, Real Madrid. But hey, let's talk about the unveiling. Let's wrap up with the unveiling. Eighty thousand spectators. Welcoming Kylian Mbappe to the Santiago Bernabeu. What do you make of it? Comparing it to when Cristiano Ronaldo was moving to Bernabeu. Do you know an interesting thing? If you watch, there was a video that came out when yeah. he was trying to speak and under Bernabeu, and he did a video. Nos does stress. Hala Madrid. So it was the, the same, same thing, thing Cristiano Ronaldo. also did. And it was amazing. It was think, amazing. Yeah, heritage. Right? Yeah, brilliant, brilliant, yeah. brilliant. Yeah. brilliant yeah. Yeah. But, uh, the, the organizers of the the whole unveiling of it was fantastic because it brought all the to, uh, Champions League trophies, mm. lined them up the fifteen Champions 15. League trophies. They lined them hey, up. Charlie, oh, so some clubs are you look, just looking at the heritage two, two, of the club itself. <laughs> you look at the the level of prestige the, 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 associated with the Real Madrid. around the team and everything. Charlie, see this this club this is club, huge, yeah. Yeah. and it makes it, it makes it so welcoming yeah. if you're a player and. You know, you feel like you are at a place where everything is going to be perfect for you. So, what's the target for Real Madrid now? Kylian Mbappe is in there. The target you think is, you think they need to win the La Liga again? They need to win the Champions League again? They need to win every trophy? Like yeah, on board. one thing is that yeah. with a team like Real Madrid, they they want to make Real, Mbappe the face of the club. Yeah, you understand. So now Mbappe is going to be the face of Real Madrid and. You know, if they are the face of the club, everything is going to be pushed towards you. And I think they want, they would like Mbappe to win the Ballon d'Or after his first season at the club. So, yeah. when, with regards to that, he needs to win a lot of yeah, trophies. He's so big game, yeah. He has to win the Champions League, which is important, the La Liga, and other trophies as well. And and also, I, I'm aware that he's going to even compete for. Real Madrid in the Super Cup final mm. against Atlanta. Mm. So obviously his first trophy is already on the cards. Yeah, yeah, he can win the Super Cup. He can win the Super Cup mm. and then move on to, to the, the Club, club World, World Cup, Cup and, and win, win it. So obviously maybe two trophies even in the next six months or something. He can win the two trophies. Well, guys, that is what I for you. Uh, I'm, I'm really excited for Kylian Mbappe, right? I, I just hope that he's injury free this season at least to get some uh, the grounds to get the grounds going and win some trophies for Real Madrid but hey this has been another exciting episode of Sports Guys and don't forget to subscribe to this channel Sports Guys push the notification button also and comment and bring your in comment in there Penty yeah the last words there we go oh the last words that they see they had they have la me amount but you know if you know you can't compete with them just join them <laughs> just join them see the thing is that if you have a Barcelona fan Catalonians and think Hans and Flake will be able to stop this team and you have your own problem it's up to because you. this team there this Charlie, team for, there formidable I've said it all it is God's team and you can point to where we are saying so Barcelona fans <laughs> have to be worried yeah. that's the only problem yeah. they have to be worried alright bye guys we are out right yeah. we are out see you it's better than the street